All right, good evening, everybody. My name is Jacqueline Strazula. I'm product sales manager for NIPEN. I am here tonight with Ray Molno and Doug Mostrom from um, M2 Media Group. And I also have Sandy. Um, sorry, I'm Sandy, I can never pronounce your name, so I sincerely apologize. Um, but we are your product sales team within NIPEN, and we are happy to have you all here this evening. Uh, we have a very large number of people in attendance this evening, so we're going to wait just a few more minutes before we officially launch. Um, feel free to ask, um, ask any of your questions in the text box, and we'll do our best to answer all the questions that um, pop up. Um, if we happen to miss the answering your, of your question, feel free to email info at gs9pen.org, and we'll get to you as soon as we can. Guys, we're just going to wait a few more minutes because there are a lot of people still joining, like Jacqueline said. So I'm just going to give it a couple more minutes.
All right, everybody. Um, it's about 6.37, so I'm going to hand it over to Doug, and he's going to kick this off. Well, thank you very much, Ray. And, and I think what we'll do is uh, just got to make sure if everybody can make sure that they are, are muted so we don't hear any background noise, that would be great. Um, throughout the presentation, you're probably going to have some questions uh, as I go along, but please feel free to make note of those questions because there's a very good chance I'll answer them throughout the presentation. And then what we'll do is if you still have some questions, feel free to type those into the chat and um, they will be monitored throughout the presentation. And then anything that is unanswered by the time I'm done, we can go ahead and uh, try to take those one by one. Um, but first of all, my name is Doug Mosterman. and I represent a company called M2 Media. And there are two sides to the, or there's two vendors associated with your fall program, your, your treats and reads program. And that is Ashton Farms that provides the nuts and the chocolates. And then there is M2 Media this year that provides the online platform, the uh, magazine fulfillment and the reward side of the um, uh, uh, treats and reads program. And it is a pleasure to be partnered with the Girl Scouts of uh, NIPEN for the very first time. Um, our program, is seven years old. This is gonna be our eighth season. And M2 Media being located down in Connecticut with a tech team in Pennsylvania and our full customer service team up in Ohio, we are a technology company. And primarily outside of Girl Scouts, we build the back end systems for companies like Barnes and Nobles and for Groupon. Um, and then we provide the uh, magazine fulfillment for all of those companies um, and many, many more, as well as the A to Z customer service. Um, and we've been doing that for years and years and years. And as I mentioned, this will be our eighth season in the Girl Scout business. Um, our tech team built the system that I'm going to be, I'm excited to show you tonight for the very first time with the Girl Scouts and IPEN. We built it in about five months and we've been enhancing it every single year um, for the past seven seasons. Um, in year number one in 2013, we partnered with four councils. Last year, we partnered with 51 councils. Now there are 105 councils that run the fall product program out of all 112 total councils. And this year we're proud to announce that every single council in the country is using our system um, that I'm about to show you. Our signature feature, just so you know, is the avatar. <clears throat> the reason we have the avatar as our signature feature is because we realize that the online component of the fall product program, <clears throat> pardon me, was going to continue to grow year over year over year. And the number one reason customers support the Girl Scouts is because of the girl herself. And so we thought of the idea um, and patented the idea, we just received our patent last year, of having the girl have the ability to create an avatar that looks like herself. So in the online world, the connection between the customer and the girl is still there. And that will help motivate the customer to stay engaged, stay uh, and continue to be supportive of this program. And the results over the last seven years have proven that that avatar works in a huge way. Um, and so the girls, as you'll see, will be able to build an avatar that looks like herself and sounds exactly like herself. And I'll show you all that as we move forward. But first of all, what I'd like to do is I'd like to thank all of you for all of the support that you provide to the Girl Scout program in general, as well as the fall product program, the treats and the reads program, and the cookie program as well. Because, you know, without, without all of your support, obviously, this wouldn't even be happening. Um, so we appreciate all that there is to do um, and all that you do to keep your daughter engaged um, or the, the, the gal that you're the caregiver for, keep her engaged, keep her excited and keep her moving forward, sometimes stepping outside of her comfort zone because there's so much to learn. This is not just about magazines, nuts and chocolates and money. This is about a learning experience that is really, really important for the girl. When we do our trainings of the volunteers, we talk to the volunteers and make sure that they fully understand and always stay focused on the learning of this program. What do the Girl Scouts learn from this? You know, when, the, when we talk to the volunteers about it, they always raise their hands and they say, these girls learn responsibility. They learn accountability, email marketing and technology. They learn customer service, how to say please and thank you and follow up with the customer to make sure the customer is happy. They learn how to set goals. And most importantly for me, I believe 
It's all about building their self-esteem and their confidence and learning how to overcome rejection because not every single customer is going to make a purchase and not every single person they come in contact with throughout their life is going to um, uh, be on board with everything. So they learn how to overcome rejection while building that self-esteem and confidence, things that I believe are very, very important in anybody's life. They learn how to uh, budget and they learn money management, empowerment, and so much more. They also have really cool experiences because the more successful a troop is with the fall product program, the more successful, the more experiences these girls are going to do and have. We asked the volunteers, you know, what do the Girl Scout troops do with the money that they earn from product program, the fall program, the cookie program? And they tell us they travel. Number one answer is they travel, they camp. Um, and where do they travel to? They go to New York City, they go to Savannah, Washington, DC, they go overseas, you know, as they get older, lots of really neat places and neat experiences that these girls have. And the more successful they are in product program, the more really cool experiences that they have. And then we asked the, the volunteers, do you know any troops that have actually given back, given back to the community and the hands continue to go up and they say, you know, our troop, what we did with it was we adopted a family for the holidays and provided gifts for a family that otherwise wouldn't have had them. So the money is being put to good use in things like that and, and buying, um, going to the grocery stores or going to retail stores and having the girls choose different customers, walk up to them and say, you know what, today's your lucky day. The Girl Scouts would like to buy the items that you have picked out for yourself to buy. And how that makes the girls feel, the learning experience of all that, and how it spreads the good word, uh, the word of Girl Scouts throughout the community when other customers see that interaction. So product program has a lot of learning and that turns into a lot of experiences and it also turns into being able to give back to the community and teach those girls many, many, many different um, great things about life in general. <clears throat> so first of all, we wanna thank you. We wanna let you know that you are facilitating this largest girl-led entrepreneurial program in the world by being supportive and being a great caregiver. You're assisting them in earning the funds to support these amazing girl-led adventures, service opportunities, you know, in their communities throughout the country and sometimes throughout the world. And you're providing them an opportunity to not only learn all these skills, but to share them with their friends inside of Girl Scouts, at school, in their communities. Our tagline this year is bravely be you and trust your strengths. And we are excited to kick off this Girl Scout year with you by sharing our strengths with you. What I'd like to do um, is touch on the Treats and Reads product program from the Ashton Farms perspective. First of all, as you already know, if you've been involved with the product program in the past, the main uh, products that are being used this year come from Ashton Farms. Those are nuts and chocolates. And there's two main ways that the girls will be able to be successful by offering nuts and chocolates to the customers who would like to be supportive of the Girl Scouts. And that is in person. Um, and they will be um, holding a nut order card where they'll be able to talk to adults face to face and learn what that is uh, like, step, step outside of their comfort zone in some cases, um, talk to family members, you know, bring that nut order card to family dinners and talk to the neighbors and different things like that. But of course, this is a different kind of year. And, you know, keeping distance is sometimes very, very important. So what we also like to say is there's two different ways to do the in-person experience. In this way, same way as we're learning at school, is sometimes you can do it virtually. You can have a Zoom meeting, invite all of your family members to the Zoom meeting, the Girl Scout get in front of the camera just like I am right now, and just like you are right now, and hold up the nut order card and talk about the 16 different products on the nut order card, and then open it up to her family to be able to take orders right there in front of everybody. What we have found out in the councils that have started this already is the girls that have created this type of selling experience have sold more to their family than in the past because what's happening is there's a little competition going on amongst the family members because everybody wants to be that girl's favorite uncle or favorite grandparent. And in order to do so, they believe that the more they buy, the more favorite um, up, up the favorite ladder they go. So that is a great way for you to be supportive of the girl, get her used to the in online experience and have her uh, invite all of her family members in that way as well. Let's talk about the qu uh, quick review of last year. Last year, the online girl delivered 
aspect of the program increased by 212%. That is amazing. And the reason we say it's amazing is because little did we know that we would be depending on the online platform this year in the midst of a pandemic. So that is a really great number. That means more people, 212% more orders were taken online by the customers that wanted to avoid shipping costs and have the girl deliver the items themselves. Now, again, in this type of year, how do we deliver items during a pandemic? The same way that we're getting our food delivered, drop it on the uh, doorstep and walk away and make sure that the customer understands that their products are waiting on the doorstep for them. So ring the doorbell, walk away, and the customer and everybody else is very used to that way of delivering. Number one, number one concern is just make sure everybody is safe when we're, when we're interacting with potential customers or customers that have ordered products for us to deliver. The online direct shipped, that is when customers buy items and they pay for shipping and Federal Express delivers those. That increased by 12% last year. So the online component overall at the Girl Scouts and IPEN went up dramatically. The overall nuts and chocolate sales, that went up by just over 7%. And the top selling items, you could probably have guessed these yourself, but the top selling items are the peanut butter bears, the Dolce de Leche owls, and the dill pickle peanuts. So if any of those just triggered some salivary glands to be uh, excited, it's probably because you like those as much as all the other customers. The top selling online item were the thank you nuts. That is where a customer can make a donation and the, those, uh, the donation goes to send nuts to the military. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. The girl participation last year was about even from 2018 and the, the troop participation was a little bit higher in 2019 than it was in 2018. This year's nut order card looks as you see on the screen, some really great items, starting with in the top upper left-hand corner, the mint treasures in the brownie tin. Uh, last year, you remember the junior tin was the special Girl Scout tin that was offered last year. This year, it's the brownie tin. So if you, if you bought the uh, junior tin last year, add to your collection by ordering the brownie tin that is filled with those wonderful milk chocolate mint treasures. If you did not buy the brownie tin or the uh, junior tin last year, it is available online this year. Um, also, I'd like to point out that there is a holiday tin. It's the chickadee winter scene, and that is filled with the chocolate covered pretzels. And then we have, as you go along, lots of different things, uh, different items that you're used to. You're used to the almond butter cups and the whole cashews and the thin mint almonds and the deluxe pecan clusters, as well as the dark chocolate, caramel caps with sea salt, the chocolate covered raisins, the Dolce de Leche owls, again, one of the three top selling items last year, the dark chocolate mint penguins, the peanut butter bears, the fruit slices, the dill pickled flavored peanuts, and the honey roasted peanuts. Now, down in the lower right hand corner, that is the donation piece. It is, we call it in our system, the care to share. That is where a customer can donate $6 um, either online or in an in-person sale, and that will end up sending a can of nuts down to Operation Gratitude, where the military will be able to benefit from that donation. It is a great way to support those who protect us um, and our country and be able to um, have the girl get the credit for it and even earn a Care to Share patch this year. So let's talk a little bit more about that care to share donation. The customers make a $6 donation, which again goes towards uh, nuts that'll be uh, sent to support the military through Operation Gratitude. The troop earns all the proceeds from that sale as they normally would on any other item and the girl earns credit as an order um, and $6 towards her overall rewards. We'll talk about the rewards in a little bit. And there's a special care to share patch that I showed you available for the girls as well. Let's talk about the new items. I already pointed out that the Girl Scout tin this year has changed from the junior tin to the brownie tin. It is only $9 and it's filled with the individually wrapped milk chocolate mint tree foils. Another new item that I pointed out already is the tin, the winter chickadee holiday tin that's offered for $8 and filled with the yummy chocolate covered, milk chocolate covered pretzels. And a, a crowd favorite as we are learning this year, a bag, a stand-up bag of peanut butter pretzel mix. This is really, really wonderful. Um, and customers are buying it like crazy 
already. A lot of councils started back in August and we are seeing sales go through the roof for this item. And I suspect that those of you up in New York will enjoy it as well. Now, I did mention um, when we were talking about our results from last year, we talked about the online girl delivered and then the online direct shipped. I'll point out to you how the customers are presented with an option to buy items online and have them either delivered by the girl or where the customer pays for the shipping, it'll be delivered to them by Federal Express. If they go ahead and choose the direct shipped option where the customer pays for the shipping, there will also be more items that they can shop from online. Not only all the 16 different items that are on the nut order card, but we had about 20 more items, including all of the items that you see here. In, um, as I mentioned before, the junior tin with mint treasures in it. And those are not last year's mint treasures. Those are fresh um, uh, mint treasures that are put in last year's tin. They can also shop and, and receive um, salt and pepper cashew halves, honey roasted mixed nuts, almond butter cups, mocha cups, jumbo cashews, and so much more. There's about 35 different items that'll show up for customers that decide to have the item shipped directly to their home. Um, the reason we only have the girl delivered items being the 16 items on the nut order card is that because that's the items that'll be delivered to the service units and then to the troops who then distribute those to the girls. For customers that do decide to pay for shipping, these are the, um, this is a shipping chart that the uh, that Ashton Farms provides to all of the customers. There is a standard shipping offer and a two-day shipping expedited offer. The two-day expedited offer guarantees the product and the integrity of the product, meaning if there happens to be a really warm day at the end of uh, uh, November or beginning of um, uh, or, or if they're ordering uh, shortly and there's a warm October day, and the items come and are sitting on the doorstep and are melted by the time the customer gets them, Ashton Farms will reship those free of charge if they bought the expedited shipping. Um, the standard shipping prices, as you see, um, start at $8.95 for zero to $15 worth of product. And it, it's really more affordable to buy more product because the incremental shipping charges on more product goes way down. Look at the difference. When you uh, go from a $30 up to $45 worth of product, it only goes up by $1.45 to ship that extra $15 worth of product. So it is obviously more beneficial to go ahead and buy more product. And the items, the items, all of the nutritional information, if you want to take a picture of this screen or if you want to um, write down the, uh, the website there, that, that website will provide all of the different products, point out the ones that are gluten-free as well as all the nutritional information for each individual product so everybody can feel comfortable about what they're buying. I'll leave that up there for just a few more seconds in case anybody does want to um, go ahead and write that down. So that is the nuts and chocolate side of the pro product program. Now I'd like to introduce to you the online platform, the rewards and the magazine side of everything. As I mentioned, M2 Media, we are the creator of the online platform that you're about to see and our signature feature is the avatar. So as we move forward, keep in mind that we, when we built this system, we first of all kept the customer in mind, we kept the volunteer in mind, and especially the girl in mind, because we wanted this website to be fun and engaging for the girl, as well as, as, well as help the girl be super successful, because we knew that she was embarking on some of the first business experiences of her life. And the more successful she could be, the more confident she would have to be able to go and try new things in the future. And so we built the system to be very engaging for the customer as well and motivating. We built a lot of things into the system to help motivate that customer to make a purchase. But we also made it very easy for the girl and the parent to get engaged and a lot of fun to build that avatar. So without further ado, let's talk about the two different ways again to participate. One is by using the nut order card and talking to customers, or like I said, having Zoom type meetings where you're, you're selling the in-person component of this program uh, through the digital way of a Zoom meeting like what we're doing today. And the second way is to create an online platform or an online um, campaign and I will show you how easy it is to do, how fun it is to do, and it really only takes about 10 minutes of time. I will let you know that last year in our system, every single girl that created an online campaign 
by creating her avatar, putting in email addresses of relatives, family, friends, neighbors, and coworkers, they generated an average of $180 in sales. And it only took 10 minutes to do. Um, and that was only in online sales in addition to her not order card. So it's very easy to be very successful in this program. And I'll show you how that works. But first, let me introduce to you our mascot of the year. It is a three-toed pygmy sloth. We build, we, we usually try to pick, um, to pick a mascot where there's something a little bit mysterious, you know, where the girl doesn't actually know everything there is to know about the animal and they have an opportunity to learn. And we find that the more the girl learns about the uh, mascot, the more they endear uh, and fall in love with that mascot and then want to work really hard to earn the plush version of that in the reward program. So let me tell you a little about, about the three-toed pygmy sloth. First of all, there's less than a hundred of them on the planet and they all live on an island right off the coast of Panama and they're only six pounds or less. They primarily survive off the leaves of the red mangrove trees. And did you know that sloths can swim? If you didn't know sloths can swim and you're a YouTube watcher, go to YouTube sometime and search sloths swimming because I didn't know before we picked this mascot that sloths actually swam. I just thought they kind of slowly crept across the ground and that's about all they could do. Well, there are a lot of different things and sounds that these sloths make that are really interesting and will make you laugh and smile. And actually they move more swiftly through the water than they do on land. So please take a moment, learn a little bit about the three-toed pygmy sloth and make sure your daughters learn a little bit too because they have the opportunity to earn the plush version of this. And it's really neat to have that plush version if they know a little bit more about it. Talking about rewards, these are the rewards that are built into the system this year. We have some really neat patches on the left-hand side. As you'll see, there is a 2020 sloth swimming patch. Next to that is a tree that is in the area of Panama that says Bravely Be You. And then to the right of that, there is a branch um, where a sloth and her little baby are hanging upside down with the trust your strengths. How easy is it, first of all, to earn these patches? If you wanna earn the sloth patch, all you need to do is create your online campaign with 15 or more email addresses of relatives, family, friends, neighbors, coworkers. That's easy. You can get that patch simply by doing that and not even having to sell one item. Then once you sell a total of 10 sweet and treats item, that, those are the nuts and chocolates, you will receive the Bravely Be You patch. And when you reach $125 in total sales, whether it's online on the nut order card or a combination thereof, whether it's on magazines, nuts and chocolates or a combination thereof, you will receive the Trust Your Strengths patch plus a couple of really cool bracelets um, called the Brave and Strong bracelets. So those are the patches. And if you earn any one of those patches, they look really cool separately. However, as you'll see at the top, when you earn all three of them, they fit together to make a really cool scene. Our philosophy at M2 Media is to make sure that the girls all enjoy the products or the rewards because that's one of the last things that happens in this program is the customers get their yummy reward or get their yummy products and the girls get their wonderful rewards. And we want everybody to have a smile on their face at the end of the program rather than be mildly disappointed at the quality of the product. So I assure you that every item in here is something that um, is of the highest quality as far as the level that even the pen, the pen that, um, and I have one of them right here, the pen that has the little sloth at the top, this is actually, the girls will end up playing with this a lot. Um, not only is it easy to earn, but um, the sloth comes off and the pen, it's a really satisfying uh, way to write because it is a super cool fine tip pen as opposed to just a plain old ballpoint. We, we put a lot of um, attention and effort into picking things that the girls will enjoy. Um, the quality of the tote bag, for instance. It is a big tote bag with a zipper and, com and compartments inside. It's a nice canvas material with the chevron design and super sturdy rope handles and, and a big heavy metal grommets to hold it all together. Um, it is absolutely wonderful and large. You can put um, uh, towels in there and go on picnics, go to the beach, go to the lake, go to wherever um, and different things like that. You have a great uh, t-shirt and a great pair of sloth socks. I like to call them slocks um, because I always end up doing, saying that anyway, because when you say sloth socks, it always tends to come together anyway. Um, but I promise you when she takes those socks, those slocks out of the wrapper, 
um, after receiving these, they will be one of the softest socks she's ever had in her life. One size fits all is super cute design, super warm and extremely soft. It will put a smile on her face, I promise you. And then right below that, I wanna point out the, the blanket as another item. That blanket is Sherpa material. It's hard to display the quality of that in a small little picture, either on the nut order card or online. But let me explain this one to you because that that, that uh, Sherpa material, big, uh, heavy, fuzzy sloth blanket is six feet wide and five feet tall. It is huge and it is thick and it is warm. Um, so uh, all of that is enjoyable as well. There are also some patches that she can earn with the avatar. We'll talk about that and a little bit later um, as we come up here in the program. There's something else I'd like to point out is that troops that reach $200 in per girl averages. So if you are a caregiver and your daughter is thinking about what her goal is, try to get her up to at least $200 because if the troop gets a $200 per girl average, they earn a wonderful pizza party um, on behalf of the council. So that is another thing to uh, reach out for as well um, and something to strive for in this program. So that's a little bit about the rewards that are available and the patches that are available. And I will talk to you about some more patches as we move forward. But before I do that, I wanna point out once again, our avatar. Our avatar being the signature feature that we actually have patented, which means that the M2 system and M2 media is the only company in the country that is allowed to use an avatar in a fundraising um, online world. Um, so we're super excited about this. The avatar has taken on a world of its own. The volunteers get to make avatars. The council um, staff gets to make avatars. They're putting in their email signatures. They have patches all over the uniforms throughout the country with these. And there are actually four councils um, in the country that are using our system to test for the digital cookie aspect of things. So, and that's going very well as well. So there's lots of avatars in the cookie world as well. So I mentioned before, the girls can make an avatar that looks like themselves and sounds like themselves. So why not have a patch with that avatar on it? I will let out a little secret. In 2013, we did not have this patch. It was one of our tech guys that came up to us and said, so I understand that patches are really exciting in the Girl Scout world. And obviously we build the avatar to make it really exciting for the girl and for the customer. So why don't we put a avatar on the patch? And we said, because we didn't know you could. <laughs> and that tech person said, I can make that happen, my team, and I will build that for everybody. So this will be our seventh year of having the avatar patch in our eighth season overall. The girls will be able to earn a patch with their avatar on it, and they'll be able to build that patch right online, and I'll show you how. Um, they'll be able to pick their background between the two different backgrounds that you see where the girl is sitting in the kayak or she's sitting on the hammock and the sloth is in the background of both. And all she needs to do is build her online platform, put 15 email addresses, um, unique email addresses of relatives, family members, and uh, neighbors and so forth and so on, and then reach $250 in total sales. And she will have that patch automatically sent to production and mailed directly to her house. The troop leaders um, will be, be able to have their own patch once the troop gets up to $750 in total sales. And the service unit manager, the one that manages all of this for the uh, and helps, um, helps the troop leaders, helps the girls in so many different ways, as a little bonus from M2 Media, we're going to give each service unit their own avatar patch um, to say thank you. So once the very first dollar in the service unit is sold, that, that service unit's patch will go into production and be mailed directly to them. There's a second avatar patch that these girls can earn. So please pay attention to this one because we have criteria required in both the fall program and the cookies to earn this. And all you need to do in the fall to earn this cookie crossover patch, we call it, is simply build your online platform and put in 15 email addresses and launch the program. That is all you have to do to qualify for this. Our system will go ahead and send an email to the girl after the program is over, congratulating her on her participation in the fall program. Even if she doesn't sell one item, she can still earn this patch um, by creating the online platform in the fall with 15 or more email addresses. The email that we send her after the program is over this fall 
will have a picture of this patch in the email and her avatar on the patch. And it'll simply say, all you need to do to earn the patch now is sell 55 or more packages of cookies through the digital platform of the cookie program coming up. And after the council verifies she has accomplished that, we will put her patch into production and she will receive hopefully what is gonna be her second avatar patch of the year. So we're getting to the point here where I'd like to introduce to you the actual platform and how this works from your perspective and the girl's perspective. This year, nobody needs an email to get started. And all you need to do is on the first day of the program, which is October 9th, coming up fast, all you need to do is go to gsnutsandmags.com slash gsnipen. And when you put in that um, when you put in that URL, you land on this page right here, and that'll get you started. So instead of go over some more slides, what I'd like to do is stop sharing the screen and take you live and show you exactly how this works. Because I think most of you will have a huge smile on your face when you see how fun and easy this is. So here we are. We're at the home page now. You'll know that you're at the right spot because it'll say Girl Scouts of Nipen. Um, right here in the middle. This is a demonstration site that I use for training purposes. Um, so I can mess around and I can make some mistakes. I can order nuts and chocolates and it actually won't count. Um, so I'd like to show you how all of this works. And this is the landing page. Let me point out at the very top of the page, there's a button up here that says view in Espanol. What that means obviously is by clicking on that button, it translates our entire site into Spanish. Okay. Now, because this is your first time uh, with our system, every, time, every girl that goes into the system for the very first time, all we need to do is to have her click on register. So when she clicks on register, it'll take her to the page where it asks for the zip code. So you punch in your zip code and our system will double check to make sure that that zip code is part of Girl Scouts and IPEN. And then we simply ask the, um, the parent to go ahead and put in the first name, the last name, and the email address. Verify the email address and then create a password. Now that email address and that password will be the username and password to get in the system every time after that. And then simply hit register. And that gets that gets us over to the uh, part where the girl will be able to register. Thank you for participating. Now, there is a parent or caregiver training video that comes up in the first step of this process for the parents. So if you forget anything that I tell you during this presentation, that's okay. You can watch the uh, caregiver training video right here. You can hit pause if you don't want to hear it, um, or you can hit play and you can scroll forward a little bit to a part that you might have a question about. Anytime that's going to be available to you. We simply ask you to go ahead and put in your troop number. And if you don't know or see your troop number, that's okay because we have a button here that says, I don't know or see my troop number. And council will monitor all those girls that, that click on that button and move them themselves into the correct troop, just in case you don't know your troop number when you're in the registration process. Then what you'll do is you'll start typing in the last name. Now all the girls will be uploaded into the system. So the, so the girl's name will start to appear on the screen as you start typing. Now I cannot uh, have that happen in the demonstration site, so I'm manually entering it just for demonstration purposes. But once you select, uh, once the girl or you select the, the name of the, your daughter, then her name will appear first name, last name as it is in the system, and you will not be able to change that. However, we created a field here where you can put nickname because you're telling us that's what most people know the girl by. And that's the name you would like to go out on all of the correspondence that goes out to the potential customers. Then we ask three simple questions. What does being a Girl Scout mean to you? And we have a drop down menu of a few different choices. I always like to put, I can make the world a better place. Now there will be a, um, a goal, preset goal here from the council. And that will be, I believe, $200, uh, $250, whatever the patch um, I got to look back on the, the PowerPoint, but whatever the, the criteria to earn that personalized patch was is what the goal is. You can go ahead and become a little bit more ambitious and change that goal to make it higher, or you can even make it lower if you want to, or you can simply leave it the same. And then we ask the question, what, did, what is the Girl Scout team or troop plan to do with the money that is earned from this program? Now, I live down in Delaware and I used to um, have direct access to the person that did all of the White House tours 
between 2008 and 2016. And because that person used to be a college roommate of my sister-in-law. So I was in text um, correspondence with that person and I could send a lot of Girl Scouts from Delaware down to Washington, DC to get in to do a impromptu tour of the White House um, at the drop of a hat. So I always think that is a really cool thing. Anytime I see that a troop is going down to the White House or doing something else that's super cool, I always wanna make sure that I support them by buying whatever they're selling at the time. So what we the reason we have those three questions is because we want to motivate the customer to make a purchase. And we believe and we know that customers are motivated when they know why the Girl Scout why the girl is in Girl Scouts, what her goal is, and some really cool things that they're gonna be doing with the money that they earned from my purchase. And we put that up on the Girl Scouts um, storefront page and I'll show you there. Then we go to simply step number two. Now, of course, doing that page was really short and really easy. Creating your avatar can be really short and really easy, or it can take as much time as the girl wants. I have a daughter and she likes to change her clothes all the time before she leaves for the day. And I promise you that process in her bedroom takes a lot of time. So I always encourage the girls to take your time, enjoy this. You can go ahead. There are so many features in this system that there can be 3 billion different avatars that are made before you go ahead and create a duplicate avatar. You pick the skin tone that matches your skin tone. You pick the hairstyle. And we want to make sure that every single girl that comes into the system is able to go ahead and create an avatar, regardless of her religion or situation. Um, so we go, go ahead and settle on a, uh, a hairstyle real quick. And then we'll go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and pick a hair color. So the, the, uh, the basic hair colors. And once we settle on a hair color, we can even put some highlights in our hair if we want to. Um, or we can go without the highlights. We can change the facial features to mirror what we see in the mirror. Um, so we start with the eyes and then we go ahead and make sure the eye color matches our own. And then the facial features, the smile, the nose, um, the dimples, the freckles, the braces, the freckles and the braces. And we're in COVID. So you might wanna put a mask on your avatar this year. Um, I'm gonna keep the mask off because there's some other things that we can do. We have the body uh, types, the body shapes, um, we can even be in a wheelchair if we so choose. And then we can also make sure that we have, let me go back um, and get her standing so you can see how that all works. And then we can go ahead and uh, make sure that we pick the uniform that matches the level we're in. Or if we don't wanna be in a uniform, we can go ahead and pick the GIRL t-shirt as a choice as well. We can have pants, we can have shorts, we can have skirts. Um, and this is the part that takes usually the longest, picking the right shoes because there's something about girls and shoes that um, fills those closets. So there are lots of different shoe choices that we have built into the system. Every single year, we're adding more. Um, lots of fun Crocs and Uggs and hiking boots and flip-flops in different colors and sparkly flats and sandals and cowboy boots, whatever um, the, the girl, and even slippers that matches the mascot. A few years ago, we had the bunny. Uh, a couple of years ago, the moose. Last year, the northern white rhino. And this year, of course, the sloth. And then we can accessorize with some, um, some glasses. We might wanna put a tiara and some glasses. We might wanna put a bow and some glasses. Um, I always like to settle on the aviators because I think those are pretty cool too. So now that we've built the avatar to look like ourselves, we can simply record our voice. And how easy is it? Hit the record button, allow our system to access your microphone, and we provide a sample script in case the girl doesn't want to create her own. But I always recommend she write her own little script. She introduces her first name. She explains why she's doing this program and maybe puts in there some pretty cool things about um, what they're going to be doing with the money and maybe highlight a few of her favorite nuts and chocolate items. And of course, mention that they can buy magazines as well in order to re, uh, renew all the magazine subscriptions that customers are already getting outside of the Girl Scout system. Um, and then simply hit the record button. When they hit the record button, they talk into their computer. And when they're done, they hit stop. And then they can go ahead and preview what their avatar looks like. I love being Girl Scouts. We get to do so many fun things like camping, canoeing, and rock climbing. We make friends. For so they'll be able to preview preview what that looks like and how it sounds. And if they if they messed up, they can simply re-record re and it'll change how that is. When they're done and they're satisfied with how the avatar looks, we go on to the next step, which is enhancing the uh, storefront. But we also provide digital rewards for doing things that we know will help motivate the customer. I'll show you where those digital rewards reside. 
she can go ahead and upload a selfie of herself if um, if you, the caregiver, are okay with that. She can upload a video that gets creative and puts a little jingle and a little bit, did a bit of a dance maybe to the nuts and pro, uh, nuts and chocolates that are available in magazines. Um, and the more creativity that is put into the system, we believe the more the customers will buy. However, we have seen the number of girls doing their own videos and photos go down every year because the avatar has created a world of its own that everybody feels very comfortable with and that works very well. But we offer those as choices if the girls and the parents are okay with it. We also highlight the, the patch that can be earned. And then we set the criteria right above the patch so everybody knows that, you know what, you built your avatar, now you can earn a patch with your avatar on it. All you need to do is send 15 or more email addresses and reach the uh, monetary goal, which I believe, uh, as I mentioned before, for Girl Scouts and IPEN is $225 or $250 worth of total product. And the reason we put it on this page is because the last and final step of the process is to put in the email addresses. Now there's lots of different ways you can enter email addresses. If you have Outlook or Gmail or Yahoo, you can simply click one of those um, icons and our system will access all the email addresses in your computer for you and allow you to, with one more click of the button, add them all in. We give you the opportunity to select or deselect any email addresses that you don't want imported into the system. But once you're ready, just click the button add and all of the email addresses can be loaded in. You don't have to type them at all and it, it ensures accuracy as well. Or you can go ahead and you can type in email addresses one by one. And when you do, you can go ahead and um, customize who that person is. Now, again, we're asking for 15 or more email addresses and rewarding the girl for doing so with lots of different rewards and, and patches as well, as you've already heard about. But you can launch your campaign at any time and come back and put in more email addresses if you would like to earn those patches. Our system will remind you that if you do put in 15, you are set up to receive more rewards and have more success. We launch our campaign. So right now, our system has already set up the storefront and it is already working on sending emails to all those email addresses on behalf of the girl. I'll show you what that looks like. But we also know, oh, by the way, a couple statistics. One is the girls that add their voice to the avatar last year sold 50% more than the girls who didn't add their voice to the avatar. That's how powerful adding your voice is. Also, the girls that shared their storefront on their parents' Facebook pages, and the more often they do it, the more success they had, they sold an average of 27% more than the girls that did not share their, uh, their storefront on their parents' Facebook page. And we offer the easy opportunity, click on share on Facebook, and then you can simply go ahead and see the ad that'll be put on Facebook um, of the girls' campaign. You can type something in for your followers and then simply hit post and it'll appear on, the on your Facebook page. Um, you can share once a day. That is the deal that we have worked out with Facebook at no charge and then go back in and share it again every single day for more success because you know how Facebook works. Once you post something, it kind of disappears from the string. Um, so you want to share it more often. Now, before we log out of the system, we do give the girl the opportunity to build her patch right now. Watch the patch change interactively as I make my choices. You can have the first name on the patch. You can have your nickname on the patch and you can have your initials. Then you can um, choose between the hammock or the kayak. And once you're settled on the patch, looking the way you would like it, go ahead and lock it in and then put your mailing address into the system. I wanna make sure that all of you understand that all of the email addresses and all of the physical addresses that we are acquiring through the system are only for the system. We will never ever sell that information or use it for our own profitability um, outside of the system. This is a uh, agreement we have with Girl Scouts USA because we believe that we want everybody to know that they're comfortable, that their uh, information is safe and that they this will not result in more spamming or anything like that. We save the information and then we provide to you an image of what the, um, what the uh, envelope will look like that'll arrive in your own mailbox once the girl's patch has been produced and mailed to her. So don't throw out that envelope because you wanna open it up and grab your patch. Confirm those details and then I wanna point out your dashboard because the dashboard is where you're going to manage your campaign for the next um, several many weeks throughout this uh, campaign. So when you, every time you log in after launching your campaign, this is where you're going to end up. You're gonna end up on your dashboard. At any time you can change your photo, you can update your avatar, 
um, you can update your Girl Scout details. You can uh, go back in and, and add more email addresses, add a photo, add a video at any time through the Girl Scout details. You can also update your goal. I want to point that out because we know that customers are motivated when they know that their purchases are going to help the girl get to her goal. So in this system, you're probably going to see um, the girl reaching her goal very quickly. So encourage her to go back in and make her goal even higher because the next customer that comes, if they see she's already reached her goal, they're less likely to buy as much. And if she's down here towards her goal, then you're going to go ahead and say, you know what, my purchase is going to put her over the top and I will be the favorite uncle um, of her because I'll be able to tell her, did you know that was my purchase that put you over 100%? And um, so that's the fun part about all this. She can go ahead and visit her magazine store, her nut and chocolate store. But we also want to point out here, this, we're asking all of you to go ahead and put in the results of your nut order card sales into the system so that every single nut order card that has been sold for the year um, by all the different Girl Scouts is already in the system to make the um, accuracy and the job of the council a lot easier. And it's very easy for you to put in 16 items. So when you click on paper orders, this page will open up and you can simply type in and tab through how many items you have sold on the nut order card. If you have a banner first weekend and you wanna go ahead and put in those items and then update that, and see how that affects your overall goal, you're gonna be able to see that, how it affects the rewards that you've earned and all sorts of different things. You can go ahead and put that in. Then if you go ahead and go out and sell the next weekend and have more sales, update these totals to reflect the totals sold. Um, you don't have to re-put in a different order. All you're doing is changing the totals sold to make them higher and then update the total. So this will always be a running total of the uh, items you've sold. You see how I've already gone over 100%? I would wanna go back in and make my goal um, a little bit higher so that my, my bar comes back down here. You can click on the email icon where you can see all of the email addresses that you put into the system and the ability to put more in, as well as a little colored dot next to each email address. Now the colored dot tells you what's happened to that email. This one that I just put in, it's in queue for sending out of our system. When it turns bright yellow, it'll tell me that the email was sent. When it turns green, it tells me that Uncle Doug just opened up the email. And when it turns blue, I wanna keep coming back here and looking for blue ones because it tells me all the people that I know that have bought something. So you're looking for blue ones. And so you can then go to the reporting, see what they bought, pick up the phone, send them a text, send them an email and say, thank you, Uncle Doug. Enjoy those mint treasures and thanks for supporting my program. Again, customer service because people like to be appreciated and acknowledged for them being supportive. So it's a great, great way for the girl to learn. Um, there's another feature in here then and that's the reporting feature. So the girl, the parent, you can see all of the details of the sale. You can see all sales together, all just magazine sales, direct ship nut sales, what you put in on the nut order card, your overall stats, and all of the online girl delivered orders, who ordered, what they ordered, so that you can understand um, you know, um, how many deliveries you're gonna be making after the program is over. Right above all that, you're gonna be say, able to see the summary of your entire sale. So you keep track of all of your orders and how much you've earned so that you know where you are on the reward chart as well. You can go ahead and download that. You can print it. You can email that to anybody. Um, then we can go ahead and every time you hit on the red house, by the way, it brings you back to the home um, dashboard. There's a personalized sales flyer in here that the girl can go ahead and print out and hand out to different customers or potential customers um, with directions on how they can be supportive. And we also have business cards in here for the girl because this is in essence, a little business for her. So why not have business cards? She can go ahead and print these out, use the scissors, cut them up and have a stack of business cards ready to hand out to different relatives or different customers that are purchasing nuts and chocolates and say, you know what? If you'd like to buy more or you'd like to renew all of your magazines, please go ahead and follow step number one and step number two to get to my online store so that I get the credit for all of your support. Um, she can hand those out. And again, that will put a smile and be motivating to customers because it is super cute. All of the rewards reside in the system. Even though there's pictures of them on the back of the order card, the entire reward system resides in our system. The girl will be able to come and click on that icon and see all of, all of the um, most popular items at the top 
and then all each item listed underneath and then what it takes to earn each one of those items. Okay, so um, once the system recognizes that the girl has reached a level, it'll put a green banner across there that says earned. If she gets to a level where there's a choice to make, once she reaches that level, we will um, display radio buttons for her to make her choice. If she doesn't make her choice right away, not to worry. Our system will send her reminder emails so that um, congratulating her and reminding her to go back into her dashboard and make that selection. So all of those rewards are there as well. And what else can she do? Remember I told you about those digital rewards? Well, when she clicks on the avatar awards, this page pops up, her avatar is there. And then the different question marks. When she clicks on a different question mark, she can see what it takes to earn that reward. They'll be sharing on social media, doing 15 or more email addresses, selling the first nut item, selling the first magazine, um, and all sorts of different things. And as she starts to accumulate these, these um, question marks disappear and the actual award um, is displayed. And then, make sure she clicks on the troop photo because this troop photo is something that she will love to see. She, kind of like a little Instagram, will see her avatar and she will see the avatar of all of her friends. <coughs> but she also likes to see the avatar of her troop leader because some something about girls and technology, they don't think that we adults know what we're doing. So they are the biggest critic of the troop leaders and they will look and say, you know what? Um, Miss Lori, your avatar looks great. Or I've never seen you with sunglasses on top of your head. How come you don't wear them to the meeting? Or you know what, they'll talk to them about the different avatars. The troop leaders will be able to go ahead and download the, uh, the photo and then do whatever they want. They can email that photo. They can put it up on Facebook. They can go ahead and send it to the girls in an email. Um, and they can print posters and lots of different creative fun things that the troop leaders get to do with the troop photo. So that in that essence is the website. Now, caregivers, you can, once you're in the first daughter's dashboard, there's a button here that says add another Girl Scout. So you don't have to log out and log back in to create another profile for a different daughter. You can simply click add another Girl Scout uh, and that, that lies within your original login. So that instead of logging out in the future, you can toggle back and forth between your daughters and help them both manage their campaigns without having to log back out. At any time, share on social media, add another participant, update that profile, update the avatar. Um, you know, make sure that information is in there for the personalized patch. No personalized patches will go into production until the patch has been designed and we have a mailing address for obvious reasons. We can't create the patch and have it sitting around um, because right after it's created, it gets put in an envelope with an address. So we got to make sure that that gets all done. So that is the online system. And I will answer questions about that. But I do want to kind of go back to the uh, PowerPoint and finish up what we started and then offer it up for any questions. And we are basically almost done. So I talked about the registration process. Step one, put in the email address, um, select your troop, tell us what Girl Scouting means to you and then go ahead and create your avatar, add a voice to it for 50% average more in sales, then go ahead and customize a little bit further, or you step, uh, skip this step and go into the last step of putting in the email addresses and launching your campaign. And then of course, we provide the opportunity to share that on Facebook and create your patch and then manage your program from the dashboard. It is that simple, it is that easy, and all those different features are available to make this fun, exciting, and engaging. But also remember, even though it's fun and engaging, it's also uh, very meaningful because it teaches the girl a lot about the online world and email marketing and all sorts of different things of how to go ahead and uh, manage your program. We show her uh, the avatar room to make it even more fun as well as the troop photo. And this is an email that goes out to the customers. So right after she launches her campaign, I told you our, our system was getting busy, getting to work and putting together emails to go to all of those people. The email that the customer will get will look like this with the avatar on it and more about the program and links to her magazine store and her nut and chocolate store, as well as a link that says, if you'd like to hear a special message from my avatar, please click here. When the customer clicks there, this window opens up on the right-hand side and they simply hit the play button and listen to the avatar talking in her actual voice with the mouth moving as you saw on my screen. And then the customer has a huge smile on their face. They click on the links um, to start shopping. The storefront for the magazines is on the left and the nuts and chocolates is on the right. And please notice 
that the girl's avatar is right there front and center in the, the website along with the progress bar so that that customer understands you know what how far away they are from reaching their goal and they will buy hopefully buy enough products to push them over the top um, and then the paragraph the paragraph that was built in the system when she told us what does being a Girl Scout mean? What is your goal? And what do you plan to do with the money? That uh, all sits right in here, front and center on the actual um, storefront. <clears throat> when the customer clicks on the nut and chocolate storefront, our system provides them the choice right then and there to say, the items you are about to buy, would you like them to be delivered by the girl where you pay no shipping? Or do you prefer convenience of paying for shipping yourself and having Federal Express deliver those directly to your house a little bit sooner um, and give them the option to have it expedited with cooling packs and a guarantee on the product. So depending on the choice that they make, as I mentioned before, depends on the amount of items they get to shop from. If they choose a girl delivered, it is the 15 different products plus the ability to donate online. If they choose the Federal Express where they pay for the shipping themselves, it is all 35 items, including the um, donate online. So lastly, to wrap everything up, the program starts right around the corner on October 9th. That's the first day that you can go into the system by going to gsnutsandmags.com slash gsnipen and get started and do that um, online program just like I showed you. The faster you do it, the more um, time the customers have to make their purchases and the more um, uh, fun this is and more successful she will be. And then on November 13th, the, um, the ability to enter all of your nut order card sales into the system is over for the parents and the caregivers. Um, it's also the last day that the in-person order taking will take place as well as the online girl delivered option is available to customers. On November 15th, the, um, the troop leaders and the service unit leaders um, will be locked out of the system too. What they'll be doing is they'll be helping any families get those last minute orders into the system from the nut order card. Because the parents, you'll be locked out of the system on November 13th. And then any um, of you that did not get your order in, please make sure you get your order card to your troop leader so that they can have um, that order in by the 15th. The nuts and chocolates will be delivered to the service units between December 2nd and the 5th. And then those, those uh, troop leaders will pick those up and then distribute them to the girls to be um, delivered. And then on December 5th, we shut everything off online, which means no more magazines can be bought and no more nuts and chocolates where it gets shipped directly to the customer. The program is completely over on December 5th. The only other thing to do is to go ahead and have the girls deliver the items and then have the rewards put together and shipped to the troops um, so that the troop leaders can hand those out to the girls at a later date. Lastly, I wanna make sure you all understand if you have your phones, um, if you wanna take a screenshot, please take a screenshot of this because this is our customer service team. As I mentioned before, our team does the customer service for you know, Barnes and Nobles, for Groupon, for lots of different companies, and they are really, really good and they're really, really motivated to make sure that every customer that calls in or emails has a satisfactory experience, whether it be technology related, whether it be nuts and chocolates or magazine related or reward related, it doesn't matter because their job and their, um, their bonuses are dependent on this overall satisfaction of the customer. So please utilize our customer service team rather than call the council because the council's in Girl Scouting. We are in technology and we will be able to handle any type of question that comes in um, from a technical standpoint or anything else. Um, we are happy to help and we wanna make sure everybody has a great experience. Plus we kind of keep track of all of the calls and emails that come in so that we can build a better system every single year so that those questions won't happen uh, the next year. I wanna thank all of you. Thank all of you for taking time to be here tonight for all that you do to motivate your daughters and provide them this really neat experience of being in Girl Scouts together. And together you're contributing to a positive experience that they will have through the fall product program, through the uh, cookie program. And we appreciate all you do to support the Girl Scouts. So with that, I will stop sharing my screen, open it up to see if anybody has any questions that I did not answer or that were not yet answered in the um, chat box. You can feel free to unmute yourself and uh, ask a question verbally or um, sit and listen to any other questions that are um, coming 
coming forth. We got all, I either put all of you to sleep or, <laughs> or um, did a really good job of answering questions. If you don't have any questions, um, Ray, is there anything from the council standpoint you would like to say? No, we just want to thank everybody and we're really looking forward to this. I know, I want to say I went in and created my avatar dog. The, the hairline, the hairline, you know, that avatar really, uh, <laughs> it's very true to, very true to the way I look. <laughs> good, good. We, uh, we, we want to make sure all the features are available there. That was amazing. <laughs> God, good. Um, I will do this. I will stay on um, until everybody's off. But um, if, if you don't have any questions and you're all good, then I want to thank you again for your time this evening. Wish you all the, all the luck, uh, all the best for a safe, and uh, successful fall product program with the daughters. And um, anybody that does have any questions, feel free to stay on and you can ask away, but thank you. Yeah, again, thanks everyone. Yes, products will be delivered by Christmas. They will be delivered, uh, what, the second through the fifth? Um, the, the products will be delivered to the service units between December 2nd and December 5th. Then the troops pick those up from the service units to hand out to the girls. So depending but, on their meeting is. But based on when the, or, the products are ordered online is how, when they will ship out. So if somebody orders uh, on the last day of the true. program, um, it will take, you know, five to seven business days to ship that product out and magazines. It does take a little bit longer depending on the cycle of this, of the subscription. Yeah, on the magazines, uh, that is a great thing. That's the first time that's, um, that was mentioned. All, all it is. <laughs> um, yeah, the sooner those get ordered, um, the, the, weekly the, the first issue of weekly subscriptions comes faster than the first issue of a monthly subscription or a quarterly subscription. And it all is based on the publisher and when the, the cycle goes for their covers that they print pre-print. Um, I have three questions I'm going to answer really quick. What about collecting money? Um, money is collected at the time of order taking from the customer. Um, and if um, so, if an example is if the leader doesn't see um, the the girls that often, you know, the parent, the caregiver should set up a time to drop off the money to the leader so they can make the payment. Um, the permission slip has been changed to an annual health history form that is available on our website under the form section at the very top. It's the very first form on the left-hand side when you click that forms button. Um, opt-out rewards, um, we do have opt-out for older girls this year. It is new that we are adding the junior level to that mix, so junior level and up, but Brownie junior troops are not permitted. It has to be exclusively junior and up. And I got those. I think you got them all, Jacqueline, thank you. Wow, that was good. <laughs> I've done this before. Good question. <laughs> Um, will the troop leaders get reports or a list of who has sold what so that we know what the amounts of dollars they are going to get so or Carrie, that we have to collect? So Carrie, yes. Um, the troop leaders have their own dashboard and we'll be able to see every single thing that's happening in their troop. Every girl, every um, what every girl has sold, what every girl has earned, what every choice that the girl has made, they'll be able to see everything and be able to print reports to that effect as well. Okay, perfect, thank you. You're welcome. So yes, for the opt-out, it does have to be the whole troop. When can troop leaders get into the back office and take a look around? Great question. On October 2nd, that is what, two days away, you will receive yep. the troop leaders, um, all the volunteers will receive an email inviting them into the system for the very first time. Um, and by the way, Sarah, uh, Sarah, I assume, um, oh, Sarah, right? I think. Um, yes. Yes. Part of that invite will include a, a training video for the troop leaders. So you'll understand every link on your dashboard, how to utilize it. And then that, that uh, training video will be available to you throughout the program as well. 
Okay, great. And then um, I have two daughters, but their links will not work until the ninth. Uh, there, yeah, they, they don't actually, well, you can activate um, a parent guardian email blast that'll go to all the parents in your troop on the 9th. And that link in that email, or the girls can go simply to the URL and get started, but nothing, they can't do anything until the 9th, right? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. This is the perfect time though to get talking to your girls and excite them about this awesome program. Um, this avatar is just fantastic. I actually had a chance to create two of them um, and I, I don't know which one I like. <laughs> I, um, it's so much fun. Um, the site itself, even if we didn't have the avatar, although I'm glad we do, um, the site itself is just beyond fantastic. The reporting, the data, just all the information will make everybody's job much easier this season. So thank you so much, Dutch, you and your team. Oh, thank you. Yeah, definitely. And on top of that, it'll be easier for the girls this year too. That site is amazing. Thank you very much. Anybody else have any other questions? I think that just about wraps it up then. Yep. Well, so guys, if you, if you, if you didn't ha get a chance to ask a question, um, I know you can email the info at email address, but you can also email me at rmolno at gsnipen.org for anything you need. And Molno spelled M-U-L-N-O. If there are any troop leaders still on, please understand that when you log in in two days on October 2nd, you will be encouraged to activate a feature called the Parent Guardian Email Blast. <clears throat> that will automatically send an email through the system on October 9th to all the parents. You can add email addresses in there of any parents that you don't see in the system. Or uh, for instance, maybe there's only one parent and you know both the email addresses of both parents, feel free to add them in there as well. But Troops that activated that last year generated 100% more in sales than the troops that did not activate that. That's how powerful that email is. For, I'm sorry, for the girls who do the online and the parents that have the order card but they don't want to input it, is that something the troop leader can do for them in the back office? It is. It is. So any, the, the parents will be, um, I can go back to my dates. The parents will be locked out of the system from entering theirs on November 13th. And that gives you two extra days to help out any parents that didn't get theirs in. So what I always encourage all the uh, troop leaders to do is at least get an image of every nut order card so that you can go in there and verify and then edit if there's any mistakes as well. And it's super easy to do that troop training video that you see, uh, you click on a link, you click on the girl's name and her order card comes right up on your screen. So you can edit it um, as needed and, it's, and, and then hit the update button for her. That's super easy. Now, will we be able to go in and say, yes, we've got the money before the order is placed? So, um, Further elaborate on that question. What does that mean exactly? Now, the parents and girls are supposed to collect the money at the time they get the order for the paper order. Now, if they are able to go in and place the parents are to, or um, the order for the cookie, no, the, the nuts and candy, and not give me the money, I'm going to, the troop's going to be out of money because it's going to be ordered. Is yes. there a way that I can go in and say, yes, I have the money for this. Go oh. ahead and place the order. Oh, that's a great question. Yes, there is a, um, there is a uh, link on your dashboard that says um, uh, banking and payments. When you click on that link, you are able to um, make a, you, you can say, hit the button that says girl payment. You'll select the name of the girl. You'll select the date that you received payment and how much she paid you. And then any other notes, there's even a note section. So you can say, she said she would give me the last $10 um, on uh, November 1st or whatever notes that you need to make in there to remind you of everything that's happening. 
any, so you can keep track of all of those payments and then you'll see which girls have paid you and which girls haven't. I think what she was getting at was we usually have the girls turn the money and the orders in at the same time. Okay. And what if the order goes through and we don't get the money at all? I'm going to jump in on that. So that is where the parent permissions of the, the annual health history form comes into place and it is required. So if there's ever a situation where a caregiver doesn't pay for um, the product, that permission slip is there to safeguard you for that. Um, so, but also we've had situations where, you know, the caregiver gave the order, the order was placed and um, something happened and they just weren't able to turn the money in until delivery week. So the, they can still get their product. Um, I would hate to have an order missed because a payment was short by two days of submission date. Um, so let's just make sure we keep open communication with um, caregivers and and us here at council so that we can help you with any situations such as that. Does that help? Okay. Jackie, when does um, the uh, council do the withdrawal from the bank accounts? Um, the ACH is set for Thursday, November 19th. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, I think that's it. Anybody else have anything else? If not, thanks for uh, sharing your time with us tonight. Doug, thank you again. Thank Jacqueline, you. thanks for answering all those questions. Um, and thank everybody again. I'm sure we'll be talking to you. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity to be with all of you tonight and good luck and have a, a safe, great fall. Thank you. Have a good night, everybody. Good night.